Hello and welcome to the Golden Ribbons Tutorials. We're on yet another infographic tutorial and today we're going to be looking at the Speech Cloud Tutorial. Now, this is a simple tutorial, probably one of the most simple I've done so far. And we have our colors to our right hand side. There are no icons in this tutorial, just the fonts that we're going to use and our canvas which is 1700 by 1700 I've already got the gradient on this canvas which is a radial gray gradient moving from the darker yolk yellow to the lighter yolk yellow okay so let's get straight into it first we're going to create the clouds so I'm going to hold down control and shift and create some circles And kind of just make them as random as I can possibly make them. Pressing Control D to duplicate at all times. It's okay if spaces are left out. We notice that as we duplicate the circles, we get this cloud effect and. Um, I think I'm, I'm happy with the way this looks. Then I'm just going to hold shift outside and drag the box. So I select everything using the left mouse button to drag. But then I'm going to go into path and union. You can also hit control shift and the plus sign. We have this space inside here, so I'm just going to use the Bezier tool using B or I can find Bezier to my left and I'm going to create this square above the area that needs to be filled and hit Control shift and plus again for the union so that we have our cloud because this looks like a cloud alright so I'm gonna give this cloud a color of white just for now we're gonna create the background gradients and if I remember correctly, it was one to here. So we're using the Bezier tool. I'm going to create a triangle. Color this triangle white. Get rid of the stroke. And you can be more accurate. It's just that I'm in a tutorial, so I'm only showing the triangle right now. I've got a bit showing at the top, but you can be more accurate. So I'm going to use the gradient tool now. You can find it down in this arrow, dropper. But if your screen resolution is big enough, it will show down here. I'm going to use the gradient tool, hold down from the top and drag down. Can pull this out a little bit more. Okay. Now I'm going to duplicate this. Use the invert tool at the top and use the flip tool and next to it and create another gradient. So we have something that looks like this. Right. It's gonna put this at the top. Have our background looking okay. Alright then. So the next thing you want to do now, after we created our background, we're gonna move into creating the other two clouds that lead from the bottom. So I'm gonna lift this up and create smaller circles to create the other clouds and press control shift and plus to unify them and I'm just gonna shrink this next one okay and this looks good Okay, great stuff. Okay then, so what we're gonna do now is that we're going to add a circle where we would put our icon. I'm gonna give it a yellow color. I'm gonna need to scale this down a bit. Just yep, scale it, duplicate it, and scale it down and give it a white color in between. So we get something like this. Now we have the basic format for our cloud. 
So we're gonna add the gradients that give it that realistic effect now. So now I'm just going to duplicate this and I'm going to give this a gradient using G or going down to the gradient tool and let's give it a gradient and bring the gradient down. I want the gradient to have this pale color moving from white to this peach sort of color. I think that's about right. Maybe I can put it at the top and put this at the bottom. Both ways should work. Good. Then I'm going to go into object, on path, path, and then go to inset. We're going to be using inset a couple of times. We're going to use the shortcut, which is control plus and left parentheses. So holding it down, let's insert it a bit. Good. I mean, this gives this nice little silver outline or silver light, white lining to the cloud, which is really nice. Good. Next, we're going to select the cloud on the outside. We're going to duplicate that, and then we're going to give it a. I'm going to give it a color right here, a dark yellow. Holding shift, you want to give it a stroke, and we're going to select this color right here. The strokes are a bit big, so we're going to go into the fill and stroke dialog box using Control Shift and F, or you can go to Object, Fill and Stroke, or you can right click and go to Fill and Stroke, and we're going to reduce the stroke size in the Stroke Style tab. I'm going to reduce it to, let's try 10. All right, 10 looks good. good. Then we're going to remove the fill. Excellent. All right. And then we're going to go to our gradient tool. And we're going to, in our gradient tool, in the tools control box at the top, we're going to select the stroke. And we want this to move from the color to transparency on the opposite side. Good. So that gives us the impression that the cloud has a dark edge to it. We can even color it lighter. I think this color is good enough. Good. And that gives the, the cloud the impression that it's curving in. We're going to do the same for this one. Duplicate and insert. Select this peach. And select the gradient tool. And drag. Our oh, gradient tool is still on stroke, so we, we have to move from stroke to fill. Drag down. And for this one, duplicate, inset, color, use the gradient tool and drag down. Good. So we have this wonderful effect going on here. And we're just going to push it down so that we can see our circle. Good. Okay then. So next thing I'm going to add the shadows and for this I'm going to duplicate the circle and then I'm going to shift it. Let's change the color so we can see how we're shifting it. Change it to this yellow, use the control shift and F to go to the fill and show dialog box and then we're going to just decrease the color a little bit and we're going to put it underneath. Good. And that gives us the impression that this thing is popping out. Good. So we have this popping out. You can even move it to the side a little bit. Then we're going to add the shadow to the cloud. So we're going to go to the cloud and duplicate. And we're going to select start gray here. 
and we're going to push it to the bottom and then actually first we're going to blur it first so that we can see what we're pushing then we're going to just push it to the bottom and lift it until we see it and we do see it let's move this down slightly okay and let's reduce the opacity of this just enough so that we can see what's happening let's use the dropper tool see if I can slit this dark yellow give me a better okay we're gonna use a dark yellow instead of the grey I think that looks better mm -hmm. okay so we have our clouds stepping out and we can do the same thing for these as well so using a, a darker yellow bring it down and to the side because we notice that this is where the shadow is so we're assuming the light is coming from the top left underneath same for you screw down and put you underneath Selecting both of them. Uh, I must have put it accidentally up below the gradient. Selecting both. There you go. It's going to give them a slight blur. 3.6 seems good. And reduce the opacity of the blur. Okay. Move it up somewhat. Okay, so now we have it. All we have to do is add our text and a couple of other effects that we have. So I was going to draw this board at the bottom. Select the blue, increase the opacity. Great stuff. I'm going to add some triangles. So we're gonna to go to our star and polygon tool. We're gonna to make sure that we have the polygon selected. Well, both of these will work, star or polygon. I'm gonna change the corners to three. And that will help us to get a triangle. We're just going to place some random triangles around the place. Rotate them for added effect. Should have done this first, you know, but that's okay. Right. Okay, and we have our wrap here. So these other orange, so they're not so aggressive. Okay. Okay, so now let's add our text and the icon that I had from before. Um, it's just a simple shoe icon, so I'm not going to include it. Let's copy and copy you. Dream speech. Let's decrease the size of the text, which is a bit of Laurier Mason. And then transcend it a bit more so looks like it's part of it. Okay. So 
So here is our dream speech clown. Fairly simple infographic. You know, very fancy, looks good. Excellent for micro content. I hope you learned a little bit from this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Um, as always, you can get the colors on the site as well as the font. I think this font is um, Railway. I think it's Railway. Let me just check. Yeah, Railway. And I'll leave a link in the description which you can find the bottom of the video to my blog. Alright then. Just take care of yourselves until I see you again. Oh, do want to apologize still for the lateness. I had some projects doing and, you know, just <laughs> really wore me out. But you will get to see the um, project soon, actually. You know, it's a, it's a secret, but it's coming out soon. And um, it's taken me a long time to do it. So I'm pretty happy that it's finally coming out. So, two later, get up and design a new dawn. Later.